Hey there guys, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. In today's video, I am down at my parents' house. I am house sitting, looking after the animals while they're away on a little holiday. And I thought I would do a whole house clean with me video for a couple of reasons. Number one, it'll be a nice surprise for mum to come home to. Number two, you guys get some cleaning motivation content, but mostly if I'm being honest, Number three, which is I'm trying to tactically avoid having to do schoolwork. So if that's something you're keen to see, grab yourself a cuppa and let's get into the cleaning. Itself was actually quite tidy which is unsurprising I certainly get my cleanliness from my mother but I decided to scoot around and just do a quick little clean I'm gonna start off in the kitchen just putting away some clean dishes and then I'm going to wipe down all of the benches for this clean with me video, I am using all of the cleaning products that were already down at my parents' house. So this is honestly just whatever is available, not necessarily my preference in terms of cleaning products, but obviously they do the job for my mum and dad and that's what I'm using today. The kitchen is now tidy, so I'm grabbing myself a microfiber cloth and some furniture polish, and I'm going to go around and do all the dusting. I'm starting off in the living room with dusting the lounge, and then I'll do all of the surfaces. This is a massive puzzle that my sister Lily and I have sort of started together. And every time I come and stay down here, I'll just attempt to do a few more pieces of the puzzle. So it's taking up the coffee table there and has been kind of for the last week or so. It's pretty tricky, I'll be honest. And I am proud to say that I have potentially done the most of this puzzle piece. These beautiful orchids were grown by my dad down in our bush and I'm just moving them up to the kitchen bench there so that they can take pride of place and be seen and enjoyed by everyone. There were a few items that had been drying for potentially a couple of days just on this inside clothesline. It was mostly towels and they were certainly well and truly dried. So I'm just going to fold them up and put them away in the linen cupboard in the laundry. I'll also put away this little inside clothesline and there are a few clothing items on there as well that belong to my sister that I'll pop on her bed in her bedroom.
While I'm in Lil's bedroom just putting her clean clothes on her bed, I'll give it a quick go over with the dusting. And I have done an entire video where I clean and organize her room, including decluttering and organizing her entire wardrobe. That is up on my channel if you wanna go check it out. The inside of Charlie's cage looks like it's been cleaned quite recently, but I'm just going to give a little scoot around with the duster around the outside. He has a tendency to get seed and other bits of birdie stuff all around there. So I'll need a good vacuum later on. Then I'm going to move into dusting the lounge room. This room very rarely gets used. mum has got a few different yoga mats and fitness equipment set up in there, and she does use it daily for her exercise but just from the general family we very rarely use this room it's kind of set apart from the rest of the house and has a tendency to be quite cold and very rarely gets any sunshine so we tend to spend most of our times out in the kitchen dining and living room area instead Next up, I'm going to go in and dust down the study. The computer desk and both of the bookcases in here were mine once upon a time, but I ended up giving them to mum and dad and they look fantastic in this space. Because we've got three rooms and three kids and I sometimes stay down here once a week, this ended up being my room where I stay. So there is a bed in there as well, which does look kind of odd and really makes the space quite cluttered. But honestly, if that bed wasn't there, I would have nowhere to sleep because both of my sisters are living at home at the moment. Last year, while I was staying down here, I decided that I was going to reorganize the left-hand bookcase. So I started color coding all of the books to try and make it look a little bit more aesthetic. The bookcase on the right there features all of mum's books and I wasn't allowed to touch those ones. They are categorized in terms of author and she's got a little system happening. So I needed to leave it as is. There are two bathrooms in the house. This one is the main bathroom, which is used by the general public and is also the bathroom that myself and my two sisters used growing up. I'm just going to go in and give the toilet a little bit of a clean. I'm not going to bother washing out the bathtub. Honestly, no one ever uses this tub. It's just so ginormous, you could never fill it up with water. So growing up, we would very rarely have a bath. It's kind of just a decorative object in the bathroom at this point. Um, and it didn't look very dusty, so I was just gonna leave that as is. But I am going to go and wipe down the vanity. As I said previously, both of my sisters are currently living at home, so they've got all of their bits and pieces over the vanity. Um, um, and so I'm just going to give it a good wipe down. I'm also going to wipe down the mirror there as well.
This is the ensuite for my parents' bedroom. So this is their bathroom. I'm just going to give their toilet a little bit of a scrub. I'm not going to bother doing their vanity because it was clean and no one has used it over the past couple of days. So it is good to go. We also have two small bins in both of the bathrooms. So I'm going to take those out and empty them into the big kitchen bin. And then I'm going to take all of that rubbish out to the big bin and change all of the bin liners so that they're nice and fresh. My last cleaning job is going to be running over the entire house with the vacuum cleaner. Mum and dad also have one of those little Dyson stick vacuums that I have as well at home. I love mine personally. Theirs is a little bit of a different model and I don't think it's as good as mine. If I do say so myself, I put mine on max suction and I'm able to easily do my entire house. They have a significantly bigger house than me, so so I don't know how their vacuum would go on a day-to-day -day basis. Now that the cleaning is done, it's time for some cozy winter afternoon relaxing. Basil and I are going to head down to the mailbox and collect the mail and then wander amongst the fruit trees checking what produce we have for today. I managed to find a few grapefruits on the ground that I picked up and took inside as well as some delightful flowers that I cut as well. We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. With that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. I should be the last to know we're all in this. I stand